Question number five from the practice paper B of P2, which I've taken. This particular question is about arithmetic series, and this was taken from the C1 paper of June 2018, GCE. Okay, because this is moved to, this is now a P2 topic in the new syllabus. Okay, so each year Andy pays into a savings scheme. In year one, he pays in £600. His payments increase by £120 each year, so that he pays £720 in year two, £840 in year three, and so on. So you got year one, he pays in 600 in year two, he pays in 720. It's increased by 120. In year three, 840 and so on. Okay, so you want to find how much he pays in year 10. Okay, that's what we want to find. Okay, so that's basically, you want to find what the 10th term is. You 10. Now we know that U and the general term is A plus N minus 1 times D. The first term is A, 600. The second term is A plus 1D, 600 plus 120. The second term is, is, is the first term plus 2 times the difference, which is going to be 240, and so on. So the common difference is 120. So we want to find what the tenth term is going to be, which is going to be 600 plus, well, N is, N is 10. So that's 10 minus 1, which is 9 times the common difference, which is 120. Okay, so that gives us our answer. This used to be a non-calculated question. Um, plus 9 times 120, which is 1,680. 1,680. Okay, that is how much he pays in the year 10. Okay, that's part A done. Now we're going to move on to part B. Okay, it says Kim starts paying money into a different savings scheme at the same time as Andy. In year one, she pays 130. Year one, 130. In her payments increase each year, so she pays 210 in year two, 290 in year three, and so on. So the payment, her payments form a different arithmetic sequence. At the year, end of year N, Andy has paid in total twice as much money into his savings scheme as Kim has paid in total into her savings scheme. Find the value of N. Okay, so her first term is 130. Her common difference is going to be 210 minus 130, which is 80. This is 80 plus 80. Okay, so um, it says at the end of year N, Andy has paid in total. Okay, so we're looking for the sum. Right, so um, let's look at the let's look at the year n for her. All right, let's look at the we know the sum of n terms is n over two times two a plus n minus one times d. The formula is given to you in the formula book, but you should be used to it by now. So in this case, we want to find when n is equal to capital N. So we can say S n is going to be n over two times 2 times 130, which is going to be um, 260, plus n minus 1 times 80. Okay, that's for Kim. Is it Kim? Yeah, Kim. For Andy, okay, for Andy, his first term was, what was it again? 600 and her, his common difference was 120. So his first term was 600, and his common difference was 120. Okay, and we're going to find the same, it says at the same time, at the same in the, in the year n, so it's the same year. Okay, so Andy, for his sum, for the year n, okay, is going to be n over 2. Okay, this is for Andy, and this is for Kim, they're not the same. Okay, uh, the n is the same, but the total is not the same. n over 2 times... Now, you're going to have um, 2 times A, 2 times the first term, which is 1,200, 2 times 600, plus N minus 1 times 120. 
Okay, now it tells us here that at that year end, Andy has paid in total twice as much money into his savings account scheme as Kim. So that means the sum, the total sum up to N that Andy paid is equal to twice the sum of up to N months that has that Kim has paid. So this expression is equal to twice that expression. So what we can do is we can form a little equation here. Um, uh, we can say that um, all I'll do is I'll take it to the other page so that I can continue and have space. Okay, so now we know that this amount that Andy paid equal to twice this amount. So we can say that n over 2, let's get this back to normal, n over 2 uh, times 1200 plus 120 times n minus 1 is equal to 2 times n over 2, 2 times Kim's amount, 260 plus n minus 1 times 80. Okay, so we can solve this for n now. So basically the, the 2 and, well, what we can say is, yeah, the 2 cancels with the 2, the n cancels with the n, we're going to have a half of all of this, so it's going to be a half times 1200, which is 600 plus 60 times n minus 1 equals, and here these are all cancelled out, so we've got 260 plus 80 times n minus 1. Okay, we can make life a bit easier. We can say, okay, 600 minus 260, that's going to be 400, 340 is equal to, you've got 80 n minus 1 minus 60 n minus 1, which is 20 times n minus 1, just making life easier. Divide both sides by 20, that gives you 17, equals n minus 1, so n is equal to 18. Okay, so the question, just let's look at the wording of the question. It says, um, find the value of n. Yeah, that's it, n equals 18. Okay, so we could have solved this by expanding the brackets, 1200 plus 120 n minus 120 equals... Uh, then you'd have to multiply by a, a half, 600 plus, and then 260 plus 80, n minus 80, and then we could have brought the like terms together and everything. But this is a nice quick way of doing it. We have 600 minus 260, which is 340, okay? And 80, n minus 1, minus 60, n minus 1, is, which is 20, n minus 1s. And then we can divide both sides by 20, and we're left with n minus 1 equals 17, so n is equal to 18. So it's a nice quick way of... of Solving an equation like that. Okay.